Uh-uh. If you see me, that's because I manifested you. You see, I asked for this video only to find those who are aligned. So if you see me, then this was for you. This was for you. Check this out. The Observer. Nothing can exist by itself. There must be an observer to bear witness to it. An object with no observer is void and does not exist in reality. And an observer with no object is also void. Therefore, in order for God to exist, there must be an observer or a witness. John chapter 1 verse 1 states, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word is referring to thought energy because spoken language did not exist yet. I'm going to say that again. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word is referring to thought energy because spoken language did not exist yet. This thought was the thought energy of I or self. This is where the phrase I am that I am comes from. This name effectively expresses how God's self actually became conscious of self. So in the beginning was the Word, thought's energy, and this thought energy was with God and was God. Therefore God manifests as thought energy while engaging in the creation process. If God is thought energy at this level, then you are using an aspect of God whenever you engage in creative thought process. The only way out of the illusion is to simply reverse the process. You must systematically come to understand that everything is energy and you are pure consciousness. You must learn to detach yourself from thought energy and know that you are the conscious observer and creator of everything. You are the law. You are the truth. You are the way. It is your very soul that is the Christ and Savior. You were created complete and perfect, but you just don't know it. You have been deceived by the great illusion. Just like Neo in the Matrix, when he came into awareness of who he was, he began to see the Matrix environment for what it really was, a streaming computer code. He perceived the underlying inner chi, energy, that is the essence of all matter. You are the consciousness that observes your thoughts. You are the all-seeing eye, the witness of your activity. Your mind is like a projector beaming light onto a screen. The screen is your brain, but you are reality detached from all of this. You are simply watching the energy being projected from the mind onto your brain. The more emotional energy you give anything on that screen, the more real it becomes to you. Everything you see was once a thought in someone's mind. Peace.